I think mobile becomes um, something which is really changing everybody's life. We're talking, everybody has a phone in their uh, pocket, but uh, in, in our industry we talk about mobile apps, mobile music, and uh, mobile websites, all these things, but really we're changing into a lifestyle of mobility. Humans are essentially mobile creatures, and it, without thinking about, if we, if we were to not think about mobility, that's kind of like, well, think about a human being, but when they're not talking, or when they're not breathing. Mobile will change every aspect of our lives, uh, and every industry, and really affect change and cause disruption, which, for me, I'm interested in the opportunities there are for entrepreneurs and startups in this new space. I kind of mostly look at mobile as just an increase in the number of connected devices basically so not mobile phones like we know them now but more objects that are going to be connected to the internet without email how can we work without email and and how can i connect and and and, and stay with my friends without facebook we can't uh, these techniques these these ideas change the world we lived in the the charm of mobile is that you have um, a new way to build software products it's not about anymore about like dashboards, thousands of buttons. It's more about experience. It's more like uh, creating as simple as possible with less buttons as possible and maybe even with movements and touch and sensors, like new experiences. And I think mobile is like so much richer from the experience than when you were in a web browser. And I think we, um, we love this innovation and like going with this. Like people love innovation, they are like thinking ahead and think how we can change the life of the people through a mobile device. And it's inspiring me. Well, mobile has disrupted our industry because it's, it's mainstream at the end of the day. It's main, completely mainstream for what we do. So it's, it's not so much about a website anymore. It's about how, how the consumer is really interacting with a brand. And so it's about here, it's about now, it's about impulse. Just as much as about wanting information or wanting a, a transaction where you are at that moment in time, rather than having to go back and you know, boot up your machine and start to you know, browse the web. It's a very different connection. Mobile is now creating new opportunities for advertising formats. We're not only talking, we have to go beyond banners. Mobile advertising, so to say, had been also, oh, let's do the same model from online, shrink the banners and just do it in mobile. I think we have not seen really the, um, the innovation yet, so there's, it's going to explode because more or less we're probably talking about branded conversation and um, conversational marketing, uh, which leads then to transactions. All these uh, things are happening and um, I think they were probably seeing new revolutionary services which just are not even maybe thought of advertising anymore because they're more giving me services in a dialogue. Us being connected all the time that has really changed the opportunities and I think for the better. I, I, I think we're doing more things, we're interacting with more interesting people um, now because we have more choices. It used to be in old times you, you interacted with the people from your village because those were the people that were there. You know, and then you interacted with the people in your school because those were the people you were there. And then a reason why people go to big cities is because you don't need to interact pe to, with people just because they're nearby. You can actually choose the people you interact with because you're interested in techno, you're interested in, in, in whatever, you know, um, bond, skydive, skydiving bondage or whatever. And, and, and that's the great thing that I think, you know, we, we, it empowers us to, to actually do whatever we really want to do at the very moment and not what just sort of is there. Particularly as, as smartphones came into, came into play and tablet and these things, then really everything that we've touched and everything that we continue to touch, we just can't conceive it anymore as a, as a desktop only um, experience. It has to be integrated. And of course, that's, you know, that, that, that completely affects every engagement that we have. Uh, it affects our, our, you know, the, the whole way that we look at problems. Um, it also obviously affects some of the processes around how we build and create things. It also greatly affects how we, how we helped, you know, help our clients through the process of understanding what the meaning of that is and what the consequences are for them, what the opportunities are. Mobility is like air. It's, it's, we move around. It's, it's what we do as human beings. I think the fact that we have these devices in our hands that have sensors that, that we have personal relationships with, I think that's a huge opportunity. It's, a, it's an opportunity to use technology to reach people in ways that, that nobody's been able to before, to connect people to things that they love or things that they need or to one another in ways that we haven't been able to in the past. The 
way we have technology all the time with us changes the way we perceive this world and also the way we actually feed our emotional um, state into this world. So it changes the way we interact on an emotional scale because of the technology we have. And of course for us as, as, as designers or, or what you want to call artists, it's, it's very interesting because it opens a completely new feel how you, you, you're designing experiences. We have now this new technology which is like wireless. But the question is do we already have the new business models? I think it's, it's about it's, it's an empty space, there's still a lot of movement in that space, there's, still a, there's opportunities in every single category, whether you're developing a, a, I don't know, a, a weather app for example. There's no great weather app yet, so there's an, there's an ability to be able to be entrepreneurial in that space. The truth is, is that it's not just about the mobile device anymore, it's about the peripherals which go around it, and it's about how you connect those peripherals into the mobile as well. So again, if, you, if you're an entrepreneur in that space and to be able to define a new peripheral, then that's another way of connecting with the consumer. Well, huge opportunities. I mean, I think, honestly, mobile is where the web was in the 90s. You know, I mean, it's catching up a lot, but, but if you look at the App Store, you know, it's now four years, basically, since, since Apple kick-started the whole idea of apps and mobiles, and the App Store itself went through a lot of development. You could see, like, early apps, what they did, how they worked, then you know the, the next the next wave of apps. Then there were games. Then there were like very specific games that were very uh, successful. And you can see that sort of things are churning out pretty fast now. It's it's evolving, and I think in a couple of years it will be a totally different space than it is currently, and it also will get slower. And the question is, who are the players who are in place by that time? Because they are of course then able to monetize the whole mobile space or whole mobile uh, you know app space mobile computing space to a much higher degree i think mobile has a huge impact on um, uh, design uh, interface design but also on hardware design if we think of uh, the hardware of watches the hardware of furniture the hardware of, of cars that is all going to be influenced by mobile and by the use, a huge, uh, hugely available data clouds, empathic uh, data pro provisioning, um, and I think uh, it's it, it has been a, it's actually about time that this is going to happen because hardware you now it's so patient, and um, so we hope to see there some significant changes very soon. We're going to see completely new business business models. We're going to see completely new partnerships, completely new ways of thinking of exploring physical and mental spaces so um, the whole topic of bitterpreneur will what we know from the online world will come to the offline world so the whole the most of the innovations that we're going to see in the next 10 years are s somehow linked to the mobile part i think there's loads and loads of opportunities in the connected product space and i think in the next few years we're going to see an absolutely huge explosion in the number of objects that are connected to the internet. So there's a huge amount of kind of uh, opportunity for design of those objects and also the design of the assistants that are going to help us kind of manage all those crazy connections that we've now got in our life. Because actually at the moment everything connects just to a mobile phone but we can't manage, you know, every single connected object we have can't have its own app on our phone. So yeah, there's really, really big opportunities in this space I think. I don't think there is. I don't think it's possible anymore to design a service or an experience without thinking about mobility. In fact, Fjord, um, Fjord began with a focus on mobile devices ten years ago, long before anybody really cared about it. And and over the years, we've expanded outward to all different platforms and touch points. And uh, and it seems like now the focus is back on mobility, but not from our end. The question is: Is mobile disrupting us, or we are we the mobile industry? Well, mobile is our industry. What we're seeing is mobile is reaching people in regions that previously have had no access to, to services such as finance, such as health, such as education. So it's not so much disrupting, more creating opportunities that have never existed before. Mobile isn't, doesn't, isn't necessarily a positive force, of course, because you, know, you, you can fluff it up, you can get it wrong. You, know, you can make the wrong assumptions about, about how, how consumers want to interact with your service or your, you know, your thing, whatever it is. If you look at the south of the world, uh, you see a lot of uh, 
big impacts of mobile in terms of economic development, in terms of empowerment, freedom, democracy, for example, Africa, many examples, India, microfinance, uh, as I said, the applications for mobile uh, agriculture, mobile food, health, education, medical applications using SMS, it's quite powerful stuff. The uh, number of available technologies at the same time, um, the, num the number of challenges, the number of rising countries and rising tribes, yeah, the shift to south, the shift to east, um, uh, the shift to health, to open education, um, the power of children, uh, the power of nations that have not been on the radar in the last uh, couple of years and, and, and decades, that is something we, could re we, we should definitely recognize and we should, um, we should uh, actively participate in that uh, tra trans transformation. Um, yeah, not only for the sake of progress, but for the sake of over overcoming a lot of very obvious needs that are around us. I think we should as a society and entrepreneurs in business concentrate more on what things do rather than what things are. So people create apps and they create websites and create tools and technologies and stuff like that with absolutely no purpose behind it other than to make money. Um, I don't know why this fascination is with, with trying to commercialise things for the sake of buying a big car. Where we, what we could be doing is trying to stop people killing each other.